be making stewed vegetable soup using four vegetables and assorted meat. I know it seems like a lot of ingredients. That is because vegetable soup carries or uh, uses a lot of ingredients. Without further waste of your time, today I'm going to be using goat meat. You can use beef, you can use chicken or any meat of your choice. I have here cow foot. Uh, you can use just the cow skin, which is mama, but I like to use this one that has the bone on because uh, the bone in because it carries a lot more flavor. And here I have two mackerel cut and washed. I have pre seasoned this already with adobo spice. Adobo spice just has basically turmeric, onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. And over here I have one medium to large red onions chopped already that I'm going to use to fry the soup. And over here, I also have white onions. For this, you can also use red. And I have a medium uh, white onion chopped here. I'm going to use this to cook the goat meat. Here, I have about half a cup of tomato paste. Uh, um, if you do not want to use tomato paste, you can use fresh tomatoes. But just blend it and then you steam it first before you use. Otherwise, fresh tomato paste will do the same thing. Over here, I have mushrooms washed and cut already. And today I'm using some uh, white and brown mushrooms. Here I have blended crayfish, about four cups, not four cups, sorry, about four tablespoons. If you do not like crayfish in your soup, by all means, you can omit the crayfish. Over here I have a quarter cup of canola oil and three quarter cup of palm oil. So combined, I have one cup. I like to put a little bit of canola oil in my stewed vegetable soup. If you haven't tried it before, I'm just going to tell you uh, right now, give it a try and let me know how it goes and you're going to thank me later for sure. Here I have a teaspoon each of curry powder, thyme and nutmeg, just uh, a quarter teaspoon, not a teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon each. And over here I have some uh, shaki. Uh, this is uh, the stomach of the goat. You can use the one from the cow. You can omit it all together if you do not like organ meat. This I have washed in hot water and I have removed uh, the, the skin or the outer layer. Uh, over here I have fresh shrimps, about a cup of fresh shrimp. So for this soup, you can use any assorted meat of your choice. So you can make up your own combination as you want. Over here I have half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper of course like i always tell you you can add pepper to your taste if you want more heat increase it if you want less heat then you can reduce it here i have fried onions about two tablespoons i'm going to use that uh, to cook the meat as well and over here i'm just going to say salt to taste we are going to add salt as we go uh, here i have fresh ginger secret, secret ingredient for this soup is fresh ginger and I just blended about, um, I want to say the size. I just blended that with a little bit of water and put here. Over here I have a uh, dried fish and I just soaked that in hot water. And then for, just so you have a visual of what the fish looks like, this is the fish I have used. And I just removed the bones at the middle and then cut it up in smaller pieces and make sure there are no bones in. And then I pour hot water in that just to uh, make it soak up some water, make it soft. And here I have a piece of stockfish. If you find stockfish overpowering, you can decide to boil yours and dump the water before you use it. I usually like to cook my stockfish with my meat, that way it's very soft. So just remember to really rinse out your stockfish thoroughly. And for the vegetables today, I have four gorgeous vegetables. These are some of my favorites they are packed with vitamins antioxidants and every goodness you can think of here i have i don't know if you can see it here i have swiss chard so i'm going to be using this i haven't chopped them yet i wanted to show you what it looks like before i cut it up and this is the biggest work for the soup cutting up the vegetables over here i have spinach and this spinach it's really good. It absorbs uh, a lot of water. And here I have collard greens. So these are collard greens. And lastly, I have kale. These are kale leaves. And so of these three, of these four vegetables, the, 
collard green and the kale are the toughest. So I usually put those in first and then I follow it with the Swiss chard and then by the time spinach goes in, it just needs to stay on the fire for about one or two minutes. You do not want to overcook your vegetables. So we are going to get started. I'll start first by cooking the goat meat, the cow foot and the stock fish and the shaki. I'll have those cooking in the pressure pot. And while that is cooking, I'm going to quickly cut up my vegetables and then fry the fish. And then when all that is done, we'll get back and see how uh, it's going to go down. Thank you once again. Please do not forget to share, like, and subscribe to my Blooming TV for more awesome recipe. greens, Swiss chard, kale and spinach. The fish is done frying as well. I still have the meat cooking in the pressure cooker and I just wanted to quickly add that with this uh, stewed vegetable soup we're going to be having it with pounded yam. I'm going to make my pounded yam on the stove top. I know some of you make yours on the microwave and I will show you uh, how I make mine on the stove top. Just make sure it's not too thick or too thin. If it's too thin, then it gets uh, stuck to the back of your throat. Uh, also, any other swallow of your choice, we go with this soup. You can use like the plantain flour for your swallow. You can use starch. You can use gari. You can use even like boiled yams would go with it or plantains. Some people like to have their soup with rice. So this soup has a whole uh, lot of things that it can go with. So I just wanted to chip in that we're going to be making a pounded yam. I didn't put that in my intro. Uh, so I'll just wait for the meat to get done and then we'll get frying. Please don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my Bloomy.
vegetable soup using kale swiss chard collard green and spinach and then we used uh, grilled goat meat fish shrimp mushrooms and you can like i said you can use any meat combination or vegetable combination of your choice and here we also have the pounded yam you can enjoy this with just 
a simple glass of water, a glass of orange juice, or any drink of your choice. Thank you very much for joining me today on my Blooming TV. Please do not forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have